since this is going to be the fifth or sixth installment in my vlog series, what I'm going to be doing today is just getting some things done around the house that I've been putting off, um, doing some organizing, cleaning the yak, uh, cleaning some gear, and I uh, figured I'd bring you guys along with me. So stay tuned and enjoy. Another beautiful day here in Washington State. I'm headed out to do some errands, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. This is a continuation from yesterday's vlog, so hope you enjoy. I don't know what gas prices are like where you live, wherever you are in the country, but holy smokes. We get gouged up here and we get a lovely and we get a lovely uh, gas tax. Almost a dollar on every gallon. Isn't that nice? y'all we are at sportsman's warehouse we're gonna go look around at some tackle some spinners in particular so let's go y'all just leave in silverdale went to uh sportsman's warehouse first looking for any kind of soft plastics in sort of a cinnamon color didn't have any of that but they did have the spinners that i wanted i'll show you those when i get home my favorite absolute favorite color uh, and they had it in quarter ounce and they had it in sixth ounce, um, which is awesome. Those are my those are my go-to weights for, for that particular bait. Um, but again, they did not have any soft plastics that I wanted. I'm, I'm looking for something uh, cinnamon colored. Ever tried? Ever since I tried the lunker log in cinnamon, and had very very great success with it. I've been like in love with cinnamon sort of colors, uh, light brown stuff like that. So I hopped on over to Dick's Sporting Goods next uh, to take a look at their selection of Guggen baits. They had Lunker Logs, but they did not have them in um, cinnamon. 
Uh, so what I ended up finding is I found from Yum, uh, it's called Ox. I can't remember the color now. I'll, I'll read it to you and show you when I get home. But it's very, very, very similar. And uh, a third of the price, to be honest. I love Guggen baits. They're, they're good and they catch fish, but they are expensive. Whereas, I could, you know, I would have spent at my dicks probably the better part of $8 dollars on a pack of lumber logs after tax. We have a 9% sales tax here, which is crazy. Or I could go and buy a full pack of Yum Dingers, roughly the same color. Obviously they're not gonna be as uh, sensitive. The plastic isn't gonna be as good. The durability is probably gonna be better because that's one thing I've noticed about, about Gook and Bates is the durability is fair to Midland. And I, you know, I know that there's a, a, a very, very delicate balance between the feel of the plastic, the softness of the plastic, um, the amount of salt you got to put in it. All that stuff's going to affect durability. I get that. Um, so anyways, I went with these Yum Dingers. It was $2.99. I got 10 of them. Not 10 packages, but 10 come in a pack, I think. 8 or 10. Uh, and it's very, very similar to that color. A little darker, and it's got some red fleck in it but I think it's gonna do damage, so I'm really stoked on that. Um, also, when I was there, they had Whopper Ploppers on sale. Uh, they're usually like 13, 14 bucks. I saw one in like a rainbow trout color scheme and just had to get it. Again, I'll show you all this. I'll get some really nice quality B-roll when I get home, uh, but right now, obviously, I am driving, so. All right, well, I'll see you when I get home, and we'll go over what I got. See you there. Here's a proper little downtown. Well, I got a spot right up front, so I couldn't pass it up. Went in, got a box of donuts. Got some goodies for when we get home. See you there. This is no bueno. I'm stuck in construction traffic. It's just me. And the donuts. I already had one. Resist the temptation. Hey guys, home now. Let's go ahead and go through what I got at the Sporting Goods store. Okay, so I went there originally looking for a certain color of soft plastic. As I already explained, I couldn't find what I wanted in the name brand that I wanted, so I actually found these guys from Yum. These are called uh, Ox with Red Flick. They're pretty similar to Cinnamon, so I think these are going to work well. Along with that, I got a new Whopper Plopper. This one is in the 90 size, so the small guy. And uh, it's almost like a rainbow trout pattern. So pick one of those up. Got some of these for uh, weighted wacky rigging. 16th ounce. And last but not least, Seriously, not least, because I catch most of my fish on these things. The old rooster tail, inline spinner. Quarter ounce. And sixth ounce, same color. The first thing I usually do is uh, they've got this little holographic sticker on them. I rip that thing off because it's going to come off anyway. Um, and what you're left with below is a half white, half gold blade. And it kills. It just slays trout. So, had to pick up these. They had them in the sizes I wanted and the color. So, yeah. All right. Welcome to the little uh, shed. Just got some extra stuff stored in here. Um, so, yeah. I've never done a yak tour, so we'll do a little one here today. Why not? Let's start at the, uh, let's start at the bow. Let's start at the front of the boat. Thank <sighs> you. 
The only thing I've done here is replace the handles. They had the typical chintzy, really thin material. Um, they snapped on me. So what I did is I just took some climbing rope and uh, replaced the handles. This stuff is super, super abrasion resistant and strong. Not to mention it's more comfortable lifting the kayak by these handles than it is um, by those old straps. So I got that done to both ends, front and back. Up front here, I've got a little hatch. I don't know, it's about three, three and a half inches, four inches deep. Um, this is where I usually put this camera, the one I'm filming on, and any other really, really sensitive items that need to stay dry because this is a, a legit dry hatch. So that's usually what I keep up front. Just a cell phone, anything electronic goes in here. Moving our way back, little GoPro mount there. Now this Scotty mount, this thing right here, um, I put on probably, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago. And it has been great. The cool thing about these Scotty mounts, give you a better look at the rod holder, is that they've got a number of different attachments you can put in there. So if I wanted to put like a, uh, something to hold a tablet, they have all kinds of crazy attachments. All you gotta do, pull that sucker out. Actually, usually set it in there like that. So it'll come out. We'll rotate it. These are really good rod holders if you uh, if you want to get into it with the kayak there. Again, that was uh, from Scotty. They make this whole setup super easy to install. If I could do it, anyone can do it. Let's move our way back to the seat here. Now this is not the original setup. This used to sit flush with this. This board was never here. Um, so this was the uh, extent of your back support which is obviously not enough. So what I did is I just put this board in here, screwed it in real good. Um, this is uh, exterior rated plywood, so it's pretty good to go with the, the wet weather we go through. And just moved everything up. So I have a more comfortable seating position. Um, little cup holder there, just as a side note. Okay, coming on all, all the way to the back of the boat. We've got one rod holder here that I put in aftermarket. Another one on the other side, again, that I put in. Actually, I put this one in not but six months ago. I think that was in a vlog. And then we've got our back hatch, which is pretty dang big. It goes from here all the way back. So it fits a lot of stuff. Um, usually what I've got in here, Usually what I've got in here is I've got my life vest that goes all the way to the back that always has to be on the boat, no matter what. Um, I learned that $100 lesson the hard way. Go watch that video. <laughs> and then uh, all my bait boxes will be in here. And I can usually fit three or four full-size bait boxes, which is all I need for the day. And then, of course, you know, if I get a couple keepers or something that I want to throw in the back, I can always do that. Just kind of move everything forward, throw some some dead fish in there and um, what's nice is this compartment is sealed off from the forward compartment so it does stay dry and uh, in the event that I swamp the kayak this is the only compartment this compartment being closed is what's going to keep the yak from actually sinking again that's a lesson I learned the hard way but it's good to know that this thing won't sink if I completely swamp it okay now that you've seen the yak let's move on to the next thing
Hey guys, wanted to come on here and close out this video. It was a good day, uh, getting some stuff done. I uh, hope you found it remotely interesting. I tried to make it interesting with music and time lapses, but I reckon there's only so much you can do. Okay, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you next time, and it'll be on the lake.